Shift A text, rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees and go to the font settings and select another font. I like the Felix font, how it looks. So here it is, tab and love. Why love? Because the O looks really cool. So any word which contains O works perfectly. So put this in the center, go to alignment, horizontal to center, and your phone is in the center. So yeah, extrude it out. Wow. Make this a mesh, convert to mesh, jump into edit mode and clean up this bad topology. M by distance and the unnecessary vertices are cleaned up but the shading is messed up so normals and auto smooth create a shortcut for this mine is ctrl alt and s and i can set auto smooth from everywhere it's really fast so go to the web properties and click color environment texture open storm cloud Okay, go to the render view. Yeah, so make the uh, 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 the look very high contrast. It looks really, really bad. So let's create the material for the love material tab. Add new and metallic all the way up, roughness all the way down. No, just a little bit of roughness, just a tiny bit. So split this view and create a shader editor workspace here. There's no bevel on the text. Let's add a bevel. Search for bevel. Oh, yeah. This happens sometimes. Bevel and do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Radius is 0 0.0096 or 9. 0 0.009 yeah looks much better yeah nice so let's add a camera shift a and make the rotation as default alt r r x 90 g y hit o make this square ratio enter and move this backwards a bit by the way quick favorites save this as a quick favorite it saves you a ton of time it looks pretty washed out so and low res so add the image as plane okay so move this along the y-axis back there and jump into camera view and scale this up let's 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 just create something amazing viewport display and passport all the way up scale this up it's not in the center if you don't want to eyeball it select the camera and viewport display composition guides enable the ratio g and it's in the middle of the image bring this camera back just a bit uh it, it, it looks bad okay so let's rotate the word object switch to word and Control T. You can do this if no Wrangler is enabled in the preferences. Yeah, and this is minus 96 or something. Yeah, now it looks better. Make this more playful. Tab and select the O and L. So it selects the O only. Hit P and selection. It separates from, from the boys. So let's select the O and it's separated as you can see put the origin in the center of the o right click and set origin origin to geometry so double r and like so and it makes a huge huge difference i don't like this here this is the reflection of the v let's select the other text and go to the object properties visibility and unselect glossy and it doesn't appear in glossy surfaces select the camera go to camera settings select depth 
of field. So you can do this focus object thing, but it puts the focus in the origin of the object, so not in the surface which is uh, closer to the camera. So I want to set this manually. You can do this by viewport display limits, and you can see across here. And grab this and pull this here, something like yeah, here. It's okay. So make the background more blurry with 1.2. Oh wow, this is amazing. I want to separate the background from the text. And you can do this in the compositing editor. But first you have to enable cryptomat object in the view layer properties. Render this out first. Okay, go to the compositing editor. Delete this bunch of stuff. I don't need this. Mm, search for glare and put this here. Set the quality from medium to low. The threshold to 0.6. So you can see you're starting to see something interesting. Crank this up a bit like 2.93. Color modulation just a bit and mix is 0.2. Everything is okay. Let's add another effect called lens distortion. Put this here, select fit dispersion to 0.008. This is the perfect value. Image save as okay. Let's create the mask. Search for crypto. I mean, cryptomath. Image to the image and the cryptos to the cryptos. Control Shift click on the pick, select the background, the green color. Control Shift click on the mat. You can see we have a nice mask. Let's save this. But before you save it, make the color management view transform to standard because it's now completely light. So, image and save. Jump right into GIMP. Drag and drop your image to the canvas and the uh, mask as well and hide this. Let's create a foreground and the background. This will be the background and duplicate it with this button. This will be the text. Yeah, put this under the background. Create mask. Click this and white full opacity enabled. Add. You have a nice white background. Click on the mask, Ctrl C. Click on the white background, Ctrl V. And anchor this. And if you hide this, our mask is working. Let's add noise to the background only. Select the background, filters, noise. HSV noise. Crank up the value, something like that. Turn on the fuel saturation a bit. Uh, uh, yeah. Dulling, dulling, dulling. Maybe this is okay. So, as you can see, the noise is only in the background. It's too sharp. Uh, let's blur this out. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And. Just, just like this. Yes, it's it's blurred a bit. The whole image looks grayish. So go to colors, levels. Let's play with these sliders until your image looks okay in your opinion. And make the same thing for the text. Okay, add a bit of texture to the text. Text texture, wow, I haven't realized this before. Let's add this. Make the black transparent. So hit the mode and screen. So the black is transparent now and the white is still there. It's, it's, it's too white, so 
uh, turn down the opacity a bit so it's more subtle it's more interesting now i guess let's create a vignette effect at the new blank layer hit ok put this here uh, make sure this is white and the layer is selected click on the bucket tool and fill this area if you switch to multiply here it's gone and this is good so go to filters and light and shadow yeah vignette you can play these three settings yeah and okay it's too dark on the corners so turn the opacity down just a bit and it has a depth it creates a depth effect or something and you can export your album cover file yeah we are done hell yeah i have a patreon where i upload some 3d assets like photo scan objects but also some models like realistic buildings if you want to check it out link is in the description but it's behind the paywall you can find some backdrop images like green trees or backdrop mountains my custom album behind the scenes and also some sound design <laughs>